So um, let me start by saying uh, I would like to welcome everybody. And I'm, I'm really, really happy to have everybody uh, join us today. Um, it's our first uh, uh, science community après cours. I'm so excited. I've been attending the French one for so long, but you know what? Uh, this, this community is for you, by you, really. So uh, I got a lot of uh, requests to have, uh, to have uh, this, this, this community pick up because I think we all have the same concerns in our classroom. We all have the same issues in our classrooms. Hi, Ines. So, um, so it's, it's a nice place to get together to share things and, and, and to share concerns and successes and hopefully, uh, you know, to vent and, and laugh and, and grow together, I guess. This is how I look at it. Um, so I would like to, uh, I would really, really like to introduce the, my co-host uh, who is a teacher in the classroom, uh, Helen Rodriguez. So uh, I'll, I'll give Helen a moment to uh, talk to you. So, uh, I mean, lots of you I've met before. Uh, so I work over at Riverside. Um, I've taught most of the sciences. Uh, oddly enough, I'm not actually teaching the general science this semester, but I taught it last semester. I've sort of uh, handed that, that torch on, but I can definitely try and help and contribute with what I learned and saw last semester uh, in, those, in that respect. Perfect. And, and as you may all know, I, 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 I teach science in and out. It's just I recently got this post at Equipe Shock, which is, uh, I guess, a, a curriculum consultant uh, for the English community. So and what it I, is, is I'm become like liaison with anything that comes from the ministry that uh, the French sector gets to, 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 to enjoy. I get to be first in line to bring it to you, <laughs> good or bad, but at least we get to have it as soon as it comes out versus uh, you know a year or two later so that's that's the idea um so just to start off uh, like like i said this this uh, this whole idea of having this one hour uh, a month just is to get together and to share and to discuss uh, issues that we all have uh, concerning sciences and our students in that we could also, you know, get inspired or maybe find solutions among each other on how we could handle um, any, 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 you know, any uh, challenge that we may face. Um, uh, the, the intention today was mainly to talk about the general science of Sec 3, right? And uh, Helen, uh, since she taught it, she wanted to start off by sharing with you her experience and how she went about it uh, and where to start and uh, any concerns <laughs> that uh, you may face if you haven't had it implemented or if you have. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so I, I can open up with my experiences. So um, we were, we try to run actual teacher-led groups as much as possible because we find the students like them and they're more successful in them. Uh, but of course that posed a challenge for numbers for us. So what we actually ended up doing was we combined uh, our 4059 with our 4062. And uh, it looks a little weird on the schedule because on our schedule, it actually looks like we have two weeks to do all of 4062, which is fascinating. But the reason we did that, and it actually works quite well uh, because the lab content, if you add a little bit of depth to some of the 4062 like prep labs that you might be using, because most of those ones are density, right? Uh, with some concentration, pH-based concentration, you basically throw an extra two labs in and you've then covered all of the lab content for 59, which is, that was where we were coming from. Also with the fact that all of the, uh, the physical principles, if once again, if meld fairly decently, you have to only add a small amount to the 62 curriculum to also have covered the 59. Uh, and we found uh, now having done it uh, two semesters, because the other Jessica, who, I, who isn't here yet or might not be able to come today, has found, uh, followed the same model and found that, yeah, you can really cover the requirements for the um, digestive system. And for the nervous system, they each take about three hours of teaching time to really cover that material, sort of just get through it. So that was why we went with the route we did. 
it has pretty it has worked um i mean we implemented it during covid so that's been exciting um there hasn't been any major dips in success rates or things like that and most students uh who don't have to take the 4059 I, we're, we're both pretty casual teachers, both myself and Jessica. So, I mean, we encourage them to actually write the exam anyway, because, hey, two free credits, why not? Uh, but if they don't want, they just don't come, right? And it's a couple of classes that they don't, they're not there and it's no big deal. Uh, I generally, what I've found um, has been working better uh, is we have a lab day. So I, a lot of you have probably done this already. You, I mean, you guys are all experienced teachers. And we do, I do one lab a week. The students know what day it's going to be. And most of them are pretty short. I got to admit the first lab, I always have to do Simon Says. Um, I pick the easiest density lab and we do Simon Says, meaning I'm up front and I'm like, take your thing and do this and do that and do that. And I found most of them become pretty autonomous after uh, the first couple of density. So like I have three density labs, which by the way, I've put into... I don't know if Michelin has been able to put them up into the library yet, but the, the lab court set I use um, that we've used at our center, I've put up. One isn't completely finished. The other ones are set up uh, and they slowly become more and more uh, like the exam as well. So, I mean, if you wanna use those, you can just grab them and run with them. And the reason for the three different density labs is actually uh, to get them comfortable with the equipment and to get me comfortable with them. So if you're looking at that and wondering why, why do I split it into three? Why such a focus? It's because I wanna know they're not gonna drop stuff before I start making them work with hotted stuff. Most of them are only, uh, most of them if are maybe 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. We also have our, our, the way we're scheduled, we have a 20 week semester. So I have for this particular book, uh, the exact number, the number of weeks, I would have to look it up, but we usually have about eight lab periods, eight or nine lab periods that we run in a book. Okay. And that was also part of the reason doing that many labs was the reason we actually meshed 59 and 62. Because by the time we finished this set of labs, uh, the pretest that I wrote for 59 also helps prepare them for 62. So basically, once I've run that, this set of labs plus the pretest, they are 100% prepped for the 62 course and the 59 course. And the, I put my, I submitted, gave my pretest too as well. Um, I will be, I will be put, posting everything this weekend on on the age website. So I will, we'll talk about the age website in a minute. So yeah. Um, did you have, did you have uh, uh, Helen a day where you did the lab? Like was it like a one day a week or? Oh, that's it. Yeah. So for my group, I did Wednesday, uh, and Wednesday was lab day, and they all knew that it was. Uh, because I have longer lab period, uh, longer class periods, but so like one hour on the Wednesday was reserved for that would always be lab. And like I said, all of these labs can be done. Uh, I mean, like I said, even the first, the first lab, honestly, you can do most of these labs in 10 minutes flat um, if you know what you're doing. So the 30 to 40 minutes really is an estimation of the student is going to have never seen the lab, bother, never read it, never looked at it, be super lost, talking to their friends, scatterbrained, typical students should be able to get through these in 40 minutes uh, if they're even vaguely on task. Okay. Yeah. And you found it that, that, that when the minute you did 62 was a, like a nice, were they combined the, like uh, 59 and 62, were they combined one after the other? So they would register for both courses or? We did them concurrently. Concurrently, yeah. Okay. So and I made it, I just made it super clear. Like this is 62 material. This is both material. This is 49, uh, 40, 59 material. Okay. And who took the 59? Did you have people coming into the 59 that, uh, did you have people for 62 that weren't in the 59 or was it? Uh... That hasn't actually happened yet. 
uh, the last couple of semesters, it, like I said, it's a little hard to tell because we started in COVID and the enrollments at, at least at our center for have been affected by COVID somewhat strangely. Like our grade 10 levels are down and our, but our physics levels are up. Like it's so, that one, I don't know because so far everyone's had to do both. Uh, Jessica, if she, I can ask Jessica, I haven't, uh, cause I know she had some, I can ask her how that went. Okay. Like I said, the biggest problem we actually had was running the co-currently and for people who are taking only 62 and 59, we're on the administrative side. Okay. Uh, because people like people in the offices, like the guidance counselors and stuff like that, weren't clear on what's happening. So people didn't get phones. So like that was oddly enough, the teaching was less problematic than just setting up and making sure all the professionals um, understood what was happening. Because it was a, it is a weird given our modulized method, it is a weird way to set it up, but you know, it saved our students 50 hours of class time, so. Yeah, yeah. And, and did you find that the students were happy taking it? Like, or like- Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, um, there were no objections. Like I said, you wouldn't really notice. So adding the additional physical properties and chemical properties, that probably added a sum total of about two hours of teaching time mm -hmm. to my course of what I was already doing for 4062. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, then it was a basically an additional six hours of teaching time for the digestive and nervous system. So it was really, so I mean, if you had never told the students that there was two courses, I don't know if they would have really picked up on the fact it was two courses. Like that was a, that was literally a constant question I had while teaching the course. I was like, but miss, which course is this on? And I'd be like, okay, this is, you know, environment. It's yeah, environment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was actually that was the biggest hiccup I had for the students was they it, it took a lot of effort to get them confident and comfortable with the idea of that this is material on this course, this is both of my materials, which I mean, it's your physical stuff. And then these are the two co topics that are on the 59. Okay. Okay. I think Sheila has a question. Go Sheila. Uh, hi, thanks. Um, Helen, I'm, um, I'm interested in because uh, I'm not a teacher in the administrative part of how you were doing this concurrently, the 4059 and the 62. Could you, uh, or maybe you have like a, just a, a little map, because I'm not clear on how your, your. Uh, okay, so they come in and everyone, uh, so everyone, they're registered in whatever their, their code is, if they're a 4059 student or a 4062 student, they come in. Uh, and so we, they're all declared as their appropriate course code okay uh and then so i teach that da, 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 and then we do our 4059 exam okay so you're just teaching 4059 no i'm teaching both both okay i teach both okay. and i do the 4059 exam okay and the way i have it the way i've arranged the course material uh 90 90 of my 4062 material has been covered when we do the 4059 okay um, and how many, and you think this is, sorry, 16 weeks? Uh, we do it over the course of 20 weeks, which corresponds to once, but once you've pulled out various days for this and that, and we right. start on a Wednesday and stuff like that, you, it corresponds to about uh, 18 weeks of courses, three times a week. We do it in, I believe, 154 hours. How many hours a day are you doing that? Uh, we do, uh, we do on and off schedule. So we have three blocks of three hours a week. Thank you. Each three hour block is split into two, one hour and 15 minute sections. If you're, if people are like, how on earth do our students do three hours? We tell them to go away for 15 minutes in the middle. <laughs> and, and I'm sure you're going to answer this question later, but I wanted to know if you're doing, I don't know how you're doing 40, 60, but I'm sure you'll answer that. 4060 is being done on, uh, they get one three hour block a week. Okay, but that's and they not, have it for the full semester. Right, so that's not at all concurrent with the, because it doesn't make sense to go with any other course. Yeah, yeah, no. So the reason we ended up doing concurrent with 4062 and 4059 is because they're obligate courses. They're both 62 and 59. Everyone has to take them no matter what. Okay, which is why, like I said, sometimes we're just like, come on, guys, just take the two free credits for an extra six hours of material that are that's fun material um 
The 4060, of course, would pair nicely with the 4063, but not everyone has to take 4063. So that's why it got its own time space because we don't have the numbers. We absolutely do not have the numbers to run a separate 4059. We're already making a loss on the 4060. And we've just kind of accepted that. <laughs> that, that, that that's what it'll be. Thank you. Yeah, so that's it. So they, they do their first. So I, and so I teach the material. Like, so for me, the way I, I don't work from the, uh, we started in our center, we started 4062 before we had any materials, before we had any books. So I, I don't use the sulfide book at all. Um, if you want to see all my material, I, I just let me know. I can send all of it to Michelin. You can look at all of the PowerPoints and look at all my worksheets and everything. It's, I have no problem with that. Uh, so I start by doing, um, yeah, 154 hours, usually the round what it is. It's, it varies depending on the exact semester and how the, uh, how ped day, our ped days and our, our weekdays start to be varies between about 146 to about one, uh, 160 ish. It's never there. 120. That would be tight. I've done, I've done the two books. Yeah, I used to do the two books in 120. 120-ish um, would be tough. That would be really tough. I, I, I just- Do you have, uh, oh, you only do 49, 50, and 60 though? Oh, that's not a problem then. I mean, that's, that's, that's loads. Of, I would say that's loads of time though, then. Like, just, yeah, loads. Because like I said, you your labs are all, it's the same skills for the two books. Um, and so like I said, so I start with weather. So I go, through, sorry, I start with climate. I do climate, then I do a tiny little bit on the weather. Uh, then I go into the abiotic, as part of the abiotic factors. Then I do like soils and stuff like that. Then once I finish abiotics, I go into the biotic factors of the ecosystem. So then we do ecosystems. Okay. And then once you've got an appreciation of ecosystems, then I would do, that's when I did the, uh, the human part. I don't know if, I think Jessica has rearranged it a little bit. I think she liked a different order. Uh, so then we, I did the human part. Yeah. A bit of, a bit of connection issue. <laughs> We're troubleshooting like everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, just more. Until, until Han Helen reconnect, I just want to take a moment just to explain. Or yeah, sorry, Helen, you were kind of cut off for a minute. So I'll let you Here, continue. I will stop my video because I know I just dropped. Uh, so yeah. that's it. So so I've done all the physical chemistry and I've done the bulk of the 4062 uh, material. Then we do the 4059 exam. Okay. Then we only have about two weeks where I finish up our 4062 material. Uh, the material about the effects of global warming on all the other pieces that we've looked at. So we do, you know, the effect of global warming on the climate, the effect on, on, on the oceans and all the factors that affect blah, blah, blah. So we just basically re-hit all of our topics with the global warming effect. Uh, that takes maybe six hours. Then we run, I do one more theory pretest or two theory pretests, the review packages, and then we do the 62 exam. So it actually, it, so the split ends up being about so out of my 150 hours I probably take about mm, 90 to 100 of them to do 62 and then the rest is left for electricity or even a little bit more depending on the group sometimes I move it because the other thing is also during 62 I also teach them how to answer questions I go through the rubrics with them like so there's an extra time I always front load my my first module uh, because that's where I um, I teach them how to answer all the questions, and I don't have to do that then in book two, right? Like I don't have to tell them what are the principles and what are this and how to answer those questions because we've already done it. So, uh, do the hours? Yes, our exams are are done in class during that course time. So when I yeah, so when I say I have 150 hours, I mean you can subtract basically six hours per book. Uh, so if you like, it's actually, I run the teaching in uh, 18 hours, so 132-ish hours. I have only my own labs. Uh, because of when we started this, pro when we implemented 62 in our, sec in our, in our, um, our center, 
I, I wrote all my own stuff. Once again, which you are totally welcome to. I have not finished the food component protocols because I didn't have a Benedict reagent in time. You have uh, another question. Uh, do you use observatory labs or do you write your own? Yeah, that's what I was answering. No, I, I, I actually, uh, I, I wrote my own. Uh, basically, I examined, I went through all the various versions of all the various exams and then uh, wrote up labs that I figured would help them. I just want to just add to what uh, Helen was saying. By the way, just for all the teachers to know, we actually, I actually wrote to Madame saint amand to, to ask her, like, uh, why do we have our Sec 3 uh, general science courses? And her answer was, not many students are, well, not many people. There is some students who don't want the optional courses like the 63 and 64 and the physics and science. But sometimes uh, their only time touching science is actually in sec four. So the idea of having these secondary three, which are originally a sec four courses, the secondary three is for the students to have a chance to touch many topic as possible. Not all students had the chance prior to, to adult ed to actually know, to, to, to learn biology or technology. So this is their, their, their way of actually having a chance to touch these other science subject. So it might create, let's say, it might create, uh, you know, uh, Oh, suddenly, like you never seen yourself uh, doing an electrician job or a or, or plumber job or actually a const in construction. And these are courses that get you to actually touch a, a nail and a hammer and, 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 and get to know a bit of biology, like general biology, which actually, if you take a look at the, the course itself, it's the most applied and more like uh, related to real life, actually, uh, comparatively to the other ones, you know? So, um, it's just, it's just like a look at them as like a buffet for these students to touch everything there is, to taste everything there is, and eventually make a more a better informed decision if this is something they want or they don't want or they like or they don't like, right? So these general courses are introduced, uh, are re, uh, got reintroduced to to the adult ed because of um, the, the missed opportunity to some of these students. Okay. So I just wanted to 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 bring that point because I've been asked. Uh, uh, some teachers ask me like, why are we doing these fifty nine and sixty? You know, and 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 fortunately, uh, or fortunately for our students, is at least for the ones who missed uh, the chance of actually uh, trying things. These are opportunities for them to listen to hear about the other opportunities there is in sciences. Yeah, Sonia. Um, in, uh, in relation to the ankle science, too, I just want to make sure that nothing changed. So if a student um, this cannot prove that they pass level three, they must take uh, the 40, 59, 40, 60. But for the students that have passed level three, at the time that the ankle science came out, <clears throat> excuse me, um, they were going to get credits, automatic credits for 49, uh, 40, 59, 40, 60. That's still the case, right? Like that hasn't changed. It hasn't changed, no. no. Okay. So far. Okay. Yeah. And so, Helen, just to be clear, those students uh, of ours that, that passed level three in high school, they, they showed us that they did. They still write the 4059 uh, with us, probably because they've gone through it with you. And... If they want. If they, they want. have a choice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because, like I, just... I said, the only, the, there's only six hours of, of course material that's dedicated 4059. Yeah. Okay. So okay. everything else they need to attend, uh, you might be, well, what about the, the, the physical and chemical properties, the physical and chemical properties that the are expanded beyond the 62, uh, do overlap with the 40, 63, uh, four, four waste management. Hmm. So a lot of the, for instance, like they'll see it again. I mean, I st stole some of these labs from the 4064 teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. thank you. I just wanna add the uh, approach that Helen is using is actually also used in the youth sector. I'm not sure if it's used everywhere, but in my daughter's particular uh, science class, she's doing ST and EST at the exact same time. So it's not like a foreign approach. 
uh, the teacher as she's teaching, she just identifies what content is ST, what content is EST. There are ST lab days and ST exam days, and there are EST lab days and EST exam days. So there's a lot going on in one course, but the approach that is being used here for 4059 um, and 4062 is not is nothing foreign. So it passes. <laughs> <laughs> On our side, Helen, I think the only issue was more administrative, um, and we had to make sure that we were implementing the 4059 codes before the um, 4062 code, and the same thing for that 4060 course code. It was the timing that we were entering the marks. We, we fixed that now in our scheduling committee, but everything <laughs> needs to work. Awesome. We hope. <laughs> she laughs. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, okay. Uh, I'm a, I'm a PowerPoint teacher. Um, <laughs> I live and die by my PowerPoints. Otherwise I'd forget everything. Uh, like I said, it's uh, the resources I use are entirely, I've made them. Um, it's, it's my own PowerPoints. Uh, it's, I went through and I found or made uh, worksheets and my PowerPoints have a whole bunch of examples in them that I do with my students. The labs, uh, I, some of them I've written. Um, some, I mean, a lot of these, like when I say I've written them, right? Like there's, 50, there's like 10,000 density labs online, right? So like you go, you find one, it's 99% cool. You copy, paste, change up what you need to change up and then and run with it. So like, that's what I did. Um, my main degree was also ecology, bio, like, so doing a lot of this, I did oceanography in, in university. So like a lot of this is stuff I already knew. Like I just reminded myself of a bunch of stuff and just had to work out like, you know, I didn't have to talk about the Pico Klein with these guys. Right. Um, I think there's a question on the uh, 4060. Uh, the 4060 uh, has some CAD design instead of learning types of guides and links. No, you don't need to use CAD at any time. It's, it's, it's really the 4060 is a prerequisite and correct me, Helen, if I'm wrong, it's a prerequisite for like 4063. Uh, Unfortunately, the only problem is that we're having is that the prototype that we have out is harder than the SEC 4 63 exam at this moment. But the good news is there is other version coming up. Uh, there is some in the pipe, okay? But uh, the exam right now, the prototype exam, and I don't know, uh, maybe potentially the next time we're gonna have the uh, the Apreco, the Science Apreco, pro probably Jessica will be around and she'll talk to you more about it. Uh, the, 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 it's not normal that the SAC 3 exam is harder than the 60, uh, than the 63 exam. So, um, so, but, but there will be changes coming up. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I use SOFAD. We use SOFAD uh, in our individualized groups. Um, that being said, our center switched over and our board switched over to Moodle. Uh, so my individualized students do have access to my just my regular group uh, Moodle, which means they do actually have all of my material as well. But they, um, yeah, I, I didn't love the SOFAD, especially for 4062, because in my, in my presentations, I took most of my examples, my ecology examples and my global warming examples and uh, climate change examples and stuff like that. I really centered them here. It's just like, if you haven't, uh, if you have an, honestly, even if you don't have, um, Planet Earth, the documentary by the BBC, Planet Earth, or Our Planet on Netflix, um, those are worth showing because it's the 4062 topics, just bing, 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 bing. Like you can, you could play 4062 uh, topic bingo on them. Like <laughs> it explains, like it, it explains like how the global warming affects them, how the ocean climate affects the terrestrial systems, uh, how the, like, if you go through that and you can pick the climate zones. So like, I don't teach climate zones cause I don't have time. I don't have time to be like, okay guys, let's learn the characteristics of a jungle. Um, so they get shown a 50 minute documentary from planet earth that's jungles and, and they all enjoy the animals and, and dancing birds. And they learn some stuff about how, you know, this, how the rainforest makes its own rain and like all of this sort of stuff. Okay, so like, yeah, if you haven't looked at the, like I said, it's our plan, I'll put it in the chat. 
Um, it's you have two options. You can um, upset Netflix. So it's called Our Planet on Netflix or uh, Planet Earth BBC. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought the DVDs for Planet Earth. Cause it's about 60 bucks. And the, we, I show, I show, usually try to show about four or five episodes um, every, every semester for that 4062 module. It's, like I said, it's also great if you have a supply teacher coming in because your students will stay to watch it, which blew my mind. Because um, my students always, that, that was probably my biggest surprise was my students always knew when I would be showing these documentaries. And I showed them on the last hour of Friday's class and they stayed. Like I, like I really thought they were going to leave, <laughs> but they, they stayed to watch the documentaries. So that's part of the reason why I'm recommending them is that that went down really well with the students. And it is really nicely targeted for the topics at hand. Um, and you can pick, and I like those as well, because once again, like I said, SOFAD had a lot of stuff in there about coral reefs. Yeah, we're not Australia. I mean, so I teach them, my material is all more, much more focused on the boreal, uh, the boreal forest, uh, the taiga. I've taught, oh yeah, Michelin, you know I've taught 49. I know. <laughs> I have taught that. Yes. No, no, I'm not, I'm not there. <laughs> I'm solicitating if anybody else had taught it. <laughs> yes, I, I feel a little bit like this is Ask Helen, and I, that was not what I was expecting today. I'm going to admit. <laughs> no, but what can we do? We have the expertise at hand. <laughs> yeah. No, but th these are all like wonderful little, little trick. Um, and, and I don't know if you had, if everybody had a chance to take a look at the program of 4059. It's actually really, really interesting. The biology component is very um, applied. Like it's general knowledge. Like it's, it's, I mean, there's nothing there that would be hypothetical it's like it's in, it's it's important to understand how your muscle work how your digestive system work and how is it connected to 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 the chemistry component of it so it's not like silo teaching you know oh we're only going to see that in the chemistry class or this is like our body our body is a chemistry lab to be <laughs> to think about yeah. it really that's it to integrate it into 62 um, it's not anywhere in my notes material, but what I do is I point out the similarities and differences to other uh, mammals and other animals in ecosystems. And I very much use it as I teach the human as an animal in that mm -hmm. section to actually center it and place it inside of the ecosystem uh, structure so that we're not separate. We're just part of what we've been talking about in 4062. Yeah. I, 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 I read here an interesting comment. It says, I like teaching the 4059 so much better than the 4060. And I am an aerospace engineer. <laughs> well, you know, it's like teaching math to the CCBE and teaching math to DBE, DBE right? So of course it's our, <laughs> it's our students, right? The, but I will tell you um, the, for, uh, the 4060 is not, how can I say it is like like the 4063 when it was first introduced it's it's a it's a it's a scary course it's just because you're starting to use tools and you're starting to use all kind of machinery but what's interesting about the 4060 that I found interesting it's like imagine it's the 4063 without all the extras it's really the basic concept well what is a link what is a what is a you know the I find it I find it I find it nicer to teach because it, it's just an introduction. It's just really an introduction. So if you take the 63 and take away all the extra in-depth stuff, that's what it is really. Uh, and you'll see and you'll see like um, hopefully uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to build up, like I'm trying to build up like few labs uh, to 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 share with you. It's really basic machining, manufacturing. Yeah, our um, our 4063 teacher is the one who's taught that now and she's teaching her second semester of it. Um, she took a bunch of and adapted a bunch of her 4063 material and she's really enjoyed it. Uh, she's been having a ball with it. So yeah, that's, uh, so that's the best advice I can give there. I can ask for more specific advice. Um, 
about it. I can also I can I can harass Jessica into attending next time. I'll make Sonia do it. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you know what it is? It's with the forty sixty three. I know right now with the forty sixty three, it sounds like uh, how are we combining like the biology world to the manufacturing world, uh, like the, the manufacturing world, but it, there's so much connection. We we're talking about shoulders, levers, like joints, uh, like motions. If you if you start if you start off with that you start off with the 59, which you talked about biology, and there's the chemical component, if you want the chemistry component, but then you get to the physics component, really. And that's where it's, I find it more interesting because you could really simulate, you know, you could simulate uh, the body as a machine, really, which is simplifying um taking away the organic part and it becomes just simply like bunch of links and joints and, and stuff. And this what could make it more interesting. But uh, I, I do understand the fear of using tools even, I mean, and, and, and I, I do understand the, the reality of a lot of centers that you do not have um, machine shops or, or laboratories, but these kind of activities in the 4060 could be literally done. All you need is like a, a drill, and a saw and, and a hammer, really, most of the time. Like, it's really, really basic. And, and if you take a look at the DED and um, the requirement in machining or, or manufacturing part is really minimal. It's really, really minimal, which, which it should be because, I mean, you should have the chance of, of making a hole or at least nailing a nail. And, and this is the opportunity you could give your students to do it, you know? So I, I think as a content, it's, it's a very interesting content. Of course, it's, it's an introduction, so there's vocabulary heavy, you know, but it, it comes with the territory like everything else, uh, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, Sonia, you have a question? Uh, just the, the level of the exams. Right now we have, the last time I checked, a version A from them. Yes. Uh, Helen made a local exam as well, which Helen agreed to submit to, to BIM, but we, we still need to do that. Um, but you mentioned that there will be a change. Is this coming soon? Is, is BIM, where, are you guys all working together with BIM, this change? The last I heard, it was more of um, a research project that was done with the University of Ottawa somewhere, but just wondering where we are exactly with the exams and how they will change. Well, I can tell you on the on the French sector, and I know Francois here. Hi, Francois. <laughs> um, they, they, they already develop a version C that they're working collaboratively with BIM. And uh, from our sector, from the English sector, there is a team already working on a version D that will be submitted to BIM also. So we will have a C and a D that will be a lot more enjoyable, <laughs> let's say for that level. Um, comparatively to version A, which is the prototype. So for anyone who's teaching the 4060 and rely on the prototype and say, oh my God, this is what I have to teach. I do understand because that was my fear too. I was so scared when I saw this. I'm like, oh my God, this is so much harder than the 4063, right? But um, that's why there was people who volunteer like Francois and, and, and I who wanted to make teams to, to create better versions. And of course, uh, we were so gracefully uh, lucky to find teachers who, who were willing to do that. And we do have two versions who are very, very advanced. And I could maybe ask Francois to talk about his version a little bit. I'm sorry, Francois, to put you on Hi. the slide. Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, the version A, I find that the teacher works more than the student. So for me, without any technician, it's a, it's a nonsense to make more pieces than the student. So this is why we put a new one that needs barely no preparation. And uh, there's a, also an electrical part. I find it... Uh, not not just interesting, but mandatory to prepare also for uh, 4061. And uh, I have a meeting with uh, Philip Lorando in one or two weeks uh, for a revision of version A also. It, it, it will be coming soon. It's in um, revision linguistic, uh, revision linguistic right now. So, à suivre. À suivre. Well. 
Well, that's it. Merci, merci François. Thank you, François, because uh, François is like really on top of it with uh, because of course uh, he's teaching it and you know uh, and and by the way the French sector also are very vocal very very vocal on on also like saying when they looked at the prototype they were not very happy with it and and when i attended some of their après coup some people were very very upset because they have very strong student and the, even their very very strong students were not able to do well on that exam so and that's why it doesn't make sense so if you re rely on that's why if you rely on that prototype to let's say um how to say, validate how you feel about the course, please don't because that does not reflect at all what the course is about. The course is a beautiful course, it's much lighter than that. It's supposed to be a preparatory course um, at, to, to the 63, but also it's an introductory course for anyone who wants to do a bit of sciences. So this is not the, the reference point. Yeah. Just to be clear on that. I thing. have to admit, part of my um, why I, I cribbed and, and ran the courses together like I did was to buy me time because I had gone and looked at the prototype uh, and I'd looked at both prototypes and I was like, oh, oh, I'm writing a local. <laughs> um, so I, I had to budget that into my prep time. So that's where a lot of my uh, my prep time went. And I know and I gave the heads up to the 4060. Uh, that she was going to need to write a local as well um, mm -hmm. and get and go through the various validation statements having looked at the uh, the the um, the bim one the prototype um unfortunately for that part the new exams will they be used this term I will I I don't promise you because unfortunately it just once the exams are done, you know, once the exams are done, they have to go through revision, linguistics, tra translation. There's so many loopholes they have to go through. So it's, it, it will not be this semester. <laughs> I'm not going to, it won't be this semester probably, but it should be pushed as soon as possible. And I don't know, I think, uh, I don't know if Barbara could give us a date and I don't want to put her on the spot also because Madame Choquette is here too. And I'm happy for her to be here. But uh, I think I think I don't know if they could commit to any date, you know. So um, yes. So to answer your question, Micheline, no, it won't be ready. As uh, Francois mentioned, he will be meeting with my French colleague because this is a French exam in two weeks. Once they meet, and I get first of all the retro uh, the retroaction or the feedback for version A, then I can translate it and put it on the version A. So that might help the version A a bit. That one would probably come first. As for the version C, there's the whole process. It has to be translated. I do have a translator who's volunteered to do it, and then it has to go through linguistic revision. So it won't be ready until uh, the fall. Now, there is a version B, and Sonia, we talked about it last May, that was produced by the French sector, but they had a lot of problems with the practical exam not being able to go into their centers. So those, uh, the 4059 and 4060 version B are kind of on hold for the practical, and I'm waiting for the French sectors to submit them, and then they're translated to English. And <clears throat> when we meet on après cours, we always request that if you have exams, uh, maison exams, in-house exams that you've done that you would like to submit to, to BIM, because we get most of our exams from the French sector, which we translate and put into um, the English sector. So if you have any, we can go the other way. You can submit them to BIM, and then we'll translate them from the French sector. So I hope I've answered your questions. If there's any other questions about exams. Oh, and just another point, when you, if you are using any of the exams and you notice errors or mistakes or improvements, send the feedback to us and I, I will make the corrections as soon as possible. Yeah. Thank you, Barbara. It's uh, probably, uh, we'll, we'll also, I'll include the, um, the, 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 the link where they could uh, send the, their, uh, yeah. yeah, perfect. So that being said, um, I guess um, probably our, our next meeting, uh, next meeting will uh, maybe Jessica, who's been more, who actually taught the 4060 a couple of times, she'll probably be able to give you a, a, a more in-depth or more detail about how she went about it. I know, I know I'm working with her and a few other people uh, on, on building the version D, which uh, 
wasn't submitted yet to BIM, but will be super, you know, uh, soon. Um, and hopefully it'll be, uh, the minute the minute it goes through linguistic revision, it will be probably bef out before the French maybe, but I know uh, they also have, we also have somebody to, tra to translate it to French too. So uh, we're working closely with the French sector to, to have two exams uh, translated from one to the other and they're more equitable for both sides. So this is an approach that we're, we're trying to put into place to, to, you know, to make all teachers happy. So that's, uh, that's our intention, hopefully at least that part. Um, that being said, this is going to bring us to, um, I think uh, Helen and I were wondering, is there any questions, any concern, anything that you would like us to bring up for the next um, après cours? Um, any any uh, thought uh, that you would like to share with us for us to, to investigate further? That would be really, really appreciated. Of course, we're not only talking about the general science. This is what this is the topics that we're starting off with, but it, we're also going to go back and, and look at uh, the 40, 60, one, uh, 60, uh, I mean, 40, 61, 62, 63, 64, the physics, the chemistry, we, and the biology, of course, biology, we won't forget biology. It's going to be on the horizon soon also. So uh, these are all, uh, the, the more requests I have for these courses, the more I could also push upper people to give me more, uh, let's say, consent to, to, to build more, um, exams and more content. Uh, the minute it's requested by teacher, then I have more ammunition to kind of get the right resources to help me out with that stuff. So please, this is, uh, this is uh, it's a service that I wanna, I wanna make sure it's aligned with everyone's needs, you know, versus is what I think you need, <laughs> you know? Um, and the other thing, what's so nice about the après cool, there's a library. And in the library, oh, um, the minute you have a chance once uh, we're done, you could go take a look. I already put for you a couple of pre-labs. One of the pre-labs is about uh, safety in the lab, safety and, and also introduction to instruments like you know, laboratory instrument equipments. And the other one uh, I thought would be really, really useful to do um, and also a pre-lab about measurements. You know, so having questions to be answered and it will be followed with other labs where you actually could measure mass, show them the technique of laboratory. Uh, so these are all little things that I'll be adding to it. And I want to introduce, also, if you weren't aware, there is a, a website that I was put up, which is actually what we took from uh, the DBE implementation website. And we put it on an official website for all uh, the adult general education website, which is ACE, uh, it's age resources. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share my screen uh, with you and um, just take you for uh, like a, just walk um, in it. And, and just to guide you to show you where, uh, where you can find all the pretests, all the documents and all the needs that you, all the previous uh, content that you have. Hold on, just let me. So just to guide you through it, this is this is the, the old DBE website that got transferred in here and we expanded it a little bit. So now if you have anything you would like to add, you're more than welcome to share with everybody. So just to give you an idea, if you go to resources over here, you'll have math resources for CCBE and DBE. But for the sciences, if you go over here, you'll see all the courses and all the modules of sciences that they were put um, separated for you. So let's say if we take a look at uh, the 4069, you have access to the DBE, the topic at a glimpse, laboratory activities, pretest, teacher contribution, and video playlist. So if we take a look at the pretest, notice that it's actually obviously. Um, well, in my on my computer, the password are it's a password protected, which is the same password as you're familiar with. And here you have access to all the pretests that's available to everybody. But if you if you take a look over here, which I wanted to um, share with you, if you go back to the science resources over here, uh, if let's say we go to the fifty nine, uh, the video playlist. I just added a few things. Notice these are all videos that 
that some teachers found that they, was, they were relevant and they thought that it would be helpful for their courses that they, uh, they, they, they add them up per, this, uh, per course, obviously. And I added the chemistry and the biology and the physics. I came about this website over here, which I thought is super interesting, sure. but this is the Centre de Développement Pédagogique and it's all in English. So you could use actually animation that they have uh, for the 62, for this uh, acid rain, for the 62, water cycle for the 62. And notice if you go a bit further down, they have mechanisms, so industrial process. So if you're, let's say, want to show your students like how to form plastic, machining, uh, how to use certain things, these are all interesting uh, animation that you have access to. And of course, language and technology and megosynthesis. So this is all accessible. And you have documentations, you have videos, you have a lot, a lot of resources. So this is, this is a web, this is a, um, if you want a wall with with all kind of videos that you would would like to use uh, with your students. That's for this. If I go back over here, lab activities. Uh, I know some uh, teacher had worked really, really hard with Sonia last year to form like I can statement. So this is actually the fifty nine as a, the course completely here laid out for you with all the activities and uh, recommended the instructional, uh, well, recommended pedagogy. So you could get inspired from this and make your own course from it. And of course, there's still some holes to fill up like in term of lab, but notice over here, uh, I think uh, the group who worked on it with Sonia, the, the, or Sonia uh, looked at SOFA, observatory, and other suggested learning activities. So you have at least something to start off with and you can build from that, okay? Um, what I wanted to also show you, teacher contribution, notice over here, this is a wall with all kind of articles, uh, site, um, templates, uh, anything that has to deal with science and technology, uh, study guides, uh, so um, lab manuals, uh, uh, experiments, all kind of things that uh, people use and they thought was, uh, was fun to share. So this is the idea here you could share. So all you have to do is actually use the plus sign on the bottom over here. And the minute you put the plus sign, you'll get a little box over here. You just put the title, put in a link, a picture, a website, whatever it is, and there you go. You're ready to submit it, uh, to share with everybody. The other thing over here, which is new, um, I added here an option for workshops. So we have done already this year, a couple of English workshop on the CCDE. So you're more than welcome to actually see more and get access to the recording and all the documents that come with it, webinars and other uh, Moodle of GA, anything that has to do with the age community um, uh, that, um, that you have the link for. And of course we continued the, the uh, tradition with newsletters uh, uh, with everything that's coming up. So April will be coming up soon. And if you need any, anything, any comment, any help in anything, please uh, send me an email and I'll be more than happy to kind of reach out and, and help you out. So that's what's concerned in, in terms of resources. So in the après cours, there's already a wall of resources. So you don't need anybody. You could just upload any resource you want. You could take any resource you want, all right? And um, the other thing that I would like you uh, to let you know, I know we have already a date in mind for uh, the next après coup that I hope everybody also will come in, come back and uh, we'll share again. And we'll focus more about the 4060 in the next one. Uh, it's going to be on May 21st, same time, 1145 to 1245. Any, any question, any concern, anything you would like to share with me and, uh, and uh, Helen? I'm just uploading all of my stuff to that, that drive right now. So all of my labs, I'll put up, I'll put up everything I have for TSG 59 and uh, take it guys, do what you want with it, do what you will, change it, edit it, hate it, love it, go for it. Um, is it okay if I add my other science teachers to the science community list? Absolutely, please. Absolutely, absolutely. And if there is anything like, let's say we want to distribute a send, I will go back to that attendance list and, and send emails, mass emails there if there is anything specific, but 
or it'll be probably sent to all EPC, all your consultant, local consultant, all the teachers, local consultant, and it'll be sent from there too, if there's any other news or anything coming up, for sure. So that being said, um, thank you so, so much. We're really, we, I, I'm sure I, I could talk to you. I'm really, really, really happy that we got this done. And hopefully next year we'll have the math group going on. But this year we're only going to stick to science to start it off. And um, and I'm, we're very, very happy that everybody uh, came and hopefully uh, we'll keep it going. <laughs>